Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. It's been a little while since we last played this. We unfortunately had to take a break and not have an episode up the last time there should have been one. But we are heading back into town and getting right into it. We've got a character to introduce, so let's get right into it. Here we are in the Cursed Estate and previously we brought along our new class, the Surgeon. And this here is Alexander. This is a backstory by Sofro, and I'm actually quite looking forward to having Alexander. He's a very strange healer, but he can be quite interesting. I'm uh, looking forward to using him, especially with some heavy stress relievers like our Jester Nick. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this is a backstory by Sofro. Descended from a long family of doctors, he continued the tradition, but there was something off about him. He seemed too invested in biology and wanted to discover how every living being worked, human or not. That's why he's here in the dungeon, to collect live subjects for testing and write articles about them. He isn't here for money or fame, he's here for science. Great backstory there, and we do have a few options in what we want to do today. We have this quest here, which uh, we've got to um, go and help out this guy. We've got to go and activate the Medicament Friar, uh, which I, by, I, by activate, I think it means save. We've got to go and um, find him. Basically, someone's been taken from town or got lost after going out into the ruins and we need to go and find them. I'm not sure if we have to do this quest first because I was planning on going to the farmstead first. Um, just want to check something real quick. Can we... We cannot go with level threes. I didn't think we could. So... The team comp that I was hoping to go with isn't really going to work. We're going to have to find another way. Uh, but let's have a little look at who we can take here. Uh, let's try and do this first, shall we? Our Ruins quest. We haven't done anything with any level 3s yet, and this is a level 3 quest. So this could be quite difficult, but I'm kind of ready and raring to go here. Uh, so let's take... Who should we take? We'll take Scarlet and Hammurabi as our front two damage dealers and then we'll take lucas and we could i mean i suppose we could take rune for a bit of backline damage just swap out some of his skills a little bit um if we go with wait a minute let's take off all of his skills a moment so we go with his throne there which shuffles which is quite nice we could go with the arctic clutch there we could clear stone and go with the heal and just go with them skills, I think. That that could be pretty good. Shall we try that out, see how that goes? And bring him along in the back line. Uh, like I said, we haven't really been out with any level 3s yet, but I'm, I'm definitely interested to. And I do realise our ruins is, like, higher level than a lot of our other places. we still got these two at level 4. We do need to go to the farm set at some point, but this seems to be a pretty cool quest, and I've not done level 3 yet, so let's, uh, let's plan to go here, and let's get everyone trinketed up. So, Lucas here, you're gonna want... You're going to want yourself um, a good amount of extra healing here. So, he's got 27 max HP. Should we just go for full-on healing with him and go for the double here? Um, where's our other healing trinket? Here it is. Go for the double extra healing. Um, even with the minus 20% maximum HP there, I don't think that's going to matter too much. and We should be fine there. This guy's got a heal as well, so we've got to remember that. Um... With him, what are we going to be doing mainly? We're going to be clearing a bit of stress. We're going to be upping speed. And we are going to be healing a little bit as well. Oh, that's a percentile heal. So don't worry about that too much. Maybe we'll give him a bunch of defense. Make him... I mean, he is incredibly tanky. Incredibly, incredibly tanky. Which makes him an odd choice to go at the back line, really. It, it kind of does. Admittedly. Um... Mm, it's a difficult choice. Let's, okay, let's let's trinket up these guys first. So, in terms of our leper here, what would we want? So, we could either go with extra accuracy, crit, and a tiny bit more stress. Accuracy and crit. And then we don't have the one versus unholy, so we can't take any of them, any of them with us. I think, actually, we'll go accuracy and crit, and then we'll we'll keep going on that. And go even more accuracy and crit. Make sure he's hitting everything. Because he does have trouble hitting things. Scarlet here. Again doing really good for crits. So we probably want to apply some critical stuff to her. Uh, let's give her the slime jar definitely. And is there any way we can boost her crit a little bit? 
Yeah, let's go with the extra crit and damage there. I think that's going to be really good. Lucas is good. So it's just you that we have to trinket up now, and I'm really not sure what's going to be best here. It's a little difficult to decide. Um, we could maybe just go with extra scouting chance here. That could help out quite a lot, actually. So we go scouting chance there, scouting chance there. It lowers his speed by a significant amount, but he's got a skill that gives speed, so I don't think that's all that, all that important. Um, or we could up his prot. I really don't feel the need to use that one too much, though. Or we could just up all of his resistances. I think we'll go with this. We'll give him, we'll give him that. And let's just check to make sure that we don't have any uh, super terrible things here. So we do have, we do have a little bit extra stress in the um, in the ruins here, which makes me think I'll actually swap out the slime jar as good as it is for a book of sanity here, just to make sure that we uh, that we're doing all right there. And then we also have. He has less speed, but he does have that extra trap disarm, and he has that as well. Wow, he, he, I forgot how good of a trap disarm Murray was. But yeah, let's take these guys out. This will be our first full level 3 quest. It's been a while since we've been out with these guys. And let's just see, make sure our skills are sort of set up correctly here. We don't want to change anything here, do we? Um, I might change that over for... Hmm. Purge. That'd clear corpses and hit the front line. It'd buff his accuracy as well. I think we'll go with that, the withstand, and go with the buff instead. Scarlet, you're going to be wanting to get all of your up close and personal moves. We don't want you moving too much. We do have a few move skills on her right now, so we'll go with... Let's, let's just rearrange these. We'll go with that one there up front. Throat cut here is not going to be super useful. So let's go with that. Uh, let's go with Twin Death next. Then we'll go with that. Actually, then we'll go with that. And then we'll go with that. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, I think I think that's good. Oh, wait. So can, she, can, she can only deal these two from, from that position there. So that's not great. Let's maybe take off that and add on... Add on that then there. And then she's going to be able to swap around between these two positions. Oh, well, both of these are only... Mm, okay. I really need to look at where you can use these from. Let's just go with these two then. Yeah. I don't mind them too, too much. We'll maybe go with that, actually. There you go. I'm pretty happy with that now. I think that's going to be okay. Uh, and yeah, I think otherwise skills are looking fine on everyone else. I think, yeah, skills looking fine on you, skills looking fine on you. Okay, I think we're good to go. This is going to be a bit of a difficult one. Uh, I just want to make sure this is the right quest, isn't it? Um, the Medicant Friar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this out, see how this goes. We do have a few diary entries to get into here, so I'll go into a few. But one from Haverod, and this is by Cell. Uh, what in hell's name was that cape cloak monster? When I looked into his eyes, I could see myself being split down the nave, down to the nave. And those faces under its robes shifting and twisting aplenty, it chills my bones to remember. And then another one as well from Cell, this is for Sixth. I can feel it, the tug of the hag's curse on my mind once again. But how can that be? It was fell it fell to my own hands. Perhaps death is not such an absolute truth in these corrupted hills. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Still, we could bring the summoning pages. I remember someone mentioned that. I'm actually just gonna go and check and see what exactly the summoning pages do. So just give me a moment. Okay, so apparently if I use one of these summoning pages when um we have what, when we're fighting one of those horrors that we've been coming across, something interesting happens, quote. So we have to be very careful about when, if, when we do that. But I'll bring it along and maybe we'll try it out after if our group's looking good enough. Um, so we'll take 18 food, 4 shovels, 3, 3, 3, 3. I don't need any of that. Take... 20 of these and like I said, we'll take this along with us as well and see how that goes But let's get in on this. We've got a scouting percent chance of 50. So I'm pretty happy with that This is gonna be a, a difficult one, but I'm ready Witnesses say the friars seemed Agile a jilted uh, yeah uh, before leaving the hamlet 
He appeared to be seeking out unknown knowledge, but to what end, none could say. He'd not have gone far to find him. And this does actually bring me on to one other thing. I believe our exorcist Aaron did want to come along on this expedition, but I did not think best, but he did bring this group together. A dear friend of this is by T T E A by the way, our exist Aaron. A dear friend of mine um, works with me in the church for nearly a decade. He's taken it upon himself to enter the ruins in search of some law of the town. He claimed he could take care of himself, but I can't help but fear greatly for his life. He's not been outside in the hamlet much, and he hasn't faced the monsters like me. I'll be getting a group together to ensure his safe return, but I intend to join them. He did not join them today. That was, a, that was a little sort of unfortunate thing with him not being high enough level, but we, we carry on. We carry on. This seems to be a very, very long and, uh, and winding path here. I'm a bit... <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a bit worried, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping our scouting here will be more than enough to help us out and keep us going, keep us sane. But this could be a, a long and treacherous, very treacherous uh, quest. So I'm I'm a little I'm a little worried, to say the least. So let's see, 110 percent. So actually, Hammurabi is gonna be our trap disarmer, which is unusual from 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 normal, but we'll take it. Of course, we're gonna be getting a lot of scouting here. Um, I'll take it whenever I can get it. Being able to know when there's traps ahead and things like that and looking for secret rooms is always, always nice. Found ourselves this already. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. I think this is just a, a bonus. Okay. Unfortunately, that wasn't what I thought it was. I thought that was, um, I thought that was a damage buff. Ooh. This is new. Loses one action when hit. Okay. Interesting. We can't hit the back line, so... have a feeling this is going to be quite bad. I have a feeling this is going to be quite bad. Because we cannot hit the back line. Oh, no, we can. We can. Good. Okay, I don't know what that blade is, but I'm scared. What? Um, let's party heal here. 32 damage. What in the heck? This is crazy. Oh my god. This is crazy. We are so dead. <laughs> This is mental. We have to keep attacking her to try and get her dead. Okay, good. Loses an action. So does she, does she get... What? This isn't fair. Oh my god. And now we can't do that because she's not in the right place. Just another action. What is this? Enemy. What in the shit is this enemy? Okay, so... Um, yeah. This is bad. I am very scared. Holy hell! Holy hell! That enemy was so strong! My god! Oh my god, we, we could... We could seriously lose people today! Wow, that is a terrible enemy to come across! If we come across another one of these enemies right here and now, I genuinely think we could die. I genuinely think we could die. Okay. We didn't. Still bad. 
He's not doing a lot of healing, considering. I was expecting him to do a lot more healing than he's doing right now. Just light up a bit here. Oh, that dodge is bad. Thank you for that dodge, though. That was good, at least. Definitely need to get those out there. Oh, my God. I hope we don't come across too many of those. That was insane. Okay, there you go. Healing's, healing's looking good now. Or better, at least. That definitely hurts us. Bump in the night. We definitely should have brought more healing. I was thinking this would be enough, but apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, that's nice one, Hammurabi. That is very nice. Yeah, I was expecting this to do way more. Victory. I think we got to buff it, though, don't we? We have to buff it early. Don't go for him. Ow. My god, we should have... We should have brought not just prop <laughs> an issue off. Oh my god, this is scary. So, yeah, it buffs healing skills by so much. Let's get you healed up a little more. That's why we're losing it there. Ow, Hamurabi took a bit of a hit there. He got a slice on him though. I guess we just clear stress on ourselves here because there's not much else we can do. Keep healing you up. And finish you off with that crit. Oh my god. I'm so scared now. <laughs> At first I was like, okay, this isn't too bad. And now I'm just deathly afraid. Deathly afraid of everything. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm, guessing, I'm guessing we're going all the way to the bottom here. So I'm just going to make my way over there. Okay, please, please, please don't. Okay, good. Surprise as well, that's even better. Okay, so let's start off with this so we get the uh, the extra healing buff. And hit both of those, that's great. Hit both of those. Heal everyone up. Oh my god. Blanket fire, not bad. Nice dodge. Nice hit. Still not great healing, but we've brought everyone back. You're taking some some definite penalties here, but it's not enough to be worried about. That enemy's crazy. The, the fact that we don't have backline damage means, oh, like, it's, it's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. We only have backline damage in one of our units. If we didn't get a surprise there, I genuinely think we could have died. So I really don't want to come across them again. Okay, we've got to keep moving this way. We can eat. We'll take a camp after this uh, after this fight, I think. Even though our stress isn't really doing that bad, I don't even know if... Do we need to camp, really? We don't, do we? What is that thing? Have we fought, have we fought one of these before? I think we have. Up everyone's crit chance for a few rounds. Got a bit of prot there. We'll, we'll try and end this thing as quickly as possible because I don't really know what it does. I cannot remember. Love everyone's speed here. It's only for one... Oh, it's for one battle. Great. Thought it's for one round. Okay, that does hurt. It's okay, though. Not too worried. As soon as we get back on the healing train, Lucas is doing a great job there. We are getting quite stressed out here. A lot more than I was hoping. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Destroy this well. Yeah, we really messed up in not having frontline damage, didn't we? A lot. <laughs> A lot more than I thought we had. Oh, come on now. It's so close to death. Let's keep topping everyone up. Wow. Always going for him. There's got, there's got to be mechanics built into the game that makes that happen. There's got to be. Oh, that healed everything. Wow. Oh, knife in the dark. Okay, that's all right. Buff up them skills a little more. Try and take you out. Didn't quite take you out, which is annoying. Because you are going to end up stressing out this guy once more. 
finish you off. Having him back there, hiding away is, is difficult, but we can do this to bring him back, and that crit's huge. Crit is absolutely huge. Let's we'll do this for now. Not going to really do anything here. Spear thrust. That hurts, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to heal up our stress here, because our stress is insane right now. Oh my god. This is tough stuff. Tough stuff, people. Uh, let's let's definitely camp. I was thinking of not camping. Now with the stress, I'm definitely going to camp. Together. And vulnerable. Right. Rats in a maze. Did, do we even have prevent nighttime ambush? Oh my god, we don't. Ugh. Right. Do that for you. Gonna do that here. Um. That's pretty good. We don't really need that, though. We need, like, permanent buffs. You can take it. Okay. And we'll just heal you back up. Screw it. Okay, I'm a bit worried we're getting to get nighttime ambushed here. We didn't, luckily. Oh my god, I'm, I'm very worried now. I'm very worried. This was very stressful. Very stressful. A lot more than I was expecting it to be, to be honest. Okay, we do have a fight here. We have one of the Eldritch things. I'm not using the page, though. I just, I can't bring myself to it. Twin death there, try and get two of them for one. We didn't quite, but it's okay. Probably use Hugh to finish them off. Start off with one of those. Get that crit buff going on. Hugh will kill at least one. Almost killed both. We, we could end up getting observed here, so we have to be careful of this guy. But that crit, boy, that helps out a lot. We got bit here, little bit of venom on us. Shouldn't matter too much. Everyone's up full. We brought it back from the brink here. We, we really did. We brought it back from the brink. Scarlet's doing great. Hair and Hammurabi up front really know their way around around these, these enemies, to be honest. There's the boss. Let's just go for it, I guess. Okay, this isn't too bad of a, of a bit of combat. We really need to prepare for those, those statues in the future, though. Again, they keep stressing out him. And we'll not leave him alone. I'm going to try and kick, take you out early. Almost got me there. Um, let's take out the stress dealer as early as we can. It'll bring him to the front as well. And we can do Hugh because this will finish you off and do a bit of damage to the next guy as well. Always good. Nice dodge there, Scarlet. Nice dodge. That's going to give us a bit of stress there. It's not too bad, though. Not too much. We'll just top everyone up. Make sure everyone's at full health here. Finish you off. Yeah, I think he resisted the move, didn't he? Unfortunately. Just do Q to get rid of both those bodies. Bring everyone up front. Just do that to get our stress relief going. We buffed that stress relief as well with an extra 50%, which is nice. Do that. That hurts. Luckily, most, most people dodge that. That's very nice. Ooh, good dodge yet again, and that's a huge crit there. Scarlet and Hammurabi are critting like nobody's business. Look at this. Crit after crit after crit. Love it. Absolutely love it. You, you're taking more stress than I'd like, honestly. There's not much I can do about it. We're heading into this battle pretty stressed out. Okay, right. Let's get all this going on and head in and get ready for this. What is this? Friar seems shaken, but otherwise unharmed. Oh, that was it! Okay. I was expecting a boss fight there. My god, okay. We made it. That was unexpected. Wow. That was, that was difficult. Everyone made it to level 4. Minus 4 crits received. Wow. 
Okay, everyone made it to level four, which is both good and bad. It's good because we've got level fours now. Um, but it's bad because now we've got like two effectively really good healers that we can't use like too much, which isn't great. Okay, take everyone's relics off. See if we've got anyone new coming in. Seems that we've got a new alchemist here. Joseph Air here. It's leveled up. Joseph. Joseph Hare. There you go. Oh my god. Let's see if we've got anything in the Nomad's Wagon we want. Crusader. Holy Lance gets extra damage. His, um, his speed is extra. That's really good. Holy Lance plus speed plus crit. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to buy that. That's really good. I know it costs us a lot, but that's really good. Pit fighter only. Got some interesting things here. Got some level four quests down here now. And we have a new fire, uh, fire quest. Oh my god, that's really good. But we're going to go into the farmstead here. Let's see who we want to take. So we need to take level twos. So... I was told that we need a party that's movable, so Dismas can come with us. Because he's quite movable. Um, we need good, strong healing and stress relief. So I think we bring... Let's have a look. Let me just rearrange everyone. Sort by level again. Wow, so many level twos here. Um... Maybe bring Urku. Let's have a look. No, let's bring Rinaldius. Oh, wait, does actually... No, 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 no. I know who we'll bring. We will bring... Our Shield Breaker. Where's he? There he is. We'll bring our Shield Breaker here. He's going to be very, very good. Up front there with the uh, piercing and everything. So he's going to be using Duelist Advance and then... You can use... What can you use to move back? Impale. Which is pretty good. We'll put Impale on. Just to move you back one. Uh, then we will also want where... I, I'm, I'm really struggling to find people now. We're getting to that point. We've got that many people. It's actually hard to find people. Right. Uh, where is Nick? Where is Nick? We need Nick for his stress heal. And also he's quite movable as well, which is really nice. I've lost Nick. Completely lost Nick. Does he exist anymore? Nina. Urku. Rinaldius. Artemis. Amaris. Aaron. Mary. Herathan. Sunasis. Sixth. Rinaldius. Annie. Trell. Verona. Um, Ryan. We might bring Ryan with us, actually. Will, William, Will and William, uh, Morgana, Nevada, Clint, or Where's Nick? There he is. Right, we'll bring Nick, because he's got that tasty, tasty stress heal here. Um, so, from the back line here, we probably want him... I have a pretty movable party here, so... We can actually have these two dance with each other. Like, so you have forward. You don't have you don't have back one, dear. So that's forward one. So start you two off like this. Make sure you've got this on. I think that's fine. Yeah, and then we just have these two move around. So we do forward. 
Okay. Them, them two look nice together. And then I think we go Ryan for the uh, for the really high healing. I know that Ryan doesn't really have guaranteed healing. But he should be okay. So let's trinket people up. But first of all, let's sort by class. Ryan's taking that for the 30%, minus 30% bleed chance. And then didn't he have another another thing that we could use on him? I swear he has another really good trinket we could use on him. If I'm remembering correctly here. Oh no, we were going to buy it, where we, but we didn't end up buying it. So for now, let's just go with the extra healing here. Um... Yeah, I'm fine with that. Go with that healing. Uh, from here, what can you do? We don't need that on you. And go with that, that. That's a pretty good stun. Let's go with that stun then, shall we? There you go. Hopefully we can get good healing from that. Him being our only healer does worry me a little bit, though. But apparently we can pull out at any point, so don't worry about that too much. Right. You definitely want that on you. Along with that, I think. That's going to give us repulsed damage, repulsed crit, melee accuracy, melee damage, and bleed chance. This is going to give us even more bleed chance. So bleeding is going to be a pretty, pretty broken thing for you. So I'm, I'm going to keep them two on you. Even if these things have high bleed resist, I think we can break through it. <laughs> Honestly, with this setup. Uh, Nick here... Nick here, what do we want on Nick? I don't actually know what we'd want on Nick. Wait, what do we put on you? Okay, we put that on you. Um, do we have anything that's going to increase his... Uh... Hmm. Do we want to go with move resist? Probably, no, we probably want to keep his speed up, don't we? This is another very difficult one to figure out, actually. Very difficult one to figure out indeed. One thing that's a problem is we are going to be getting blight, uh, blighted and bled a lot. Someone said that it'd be a good idea to bring something on that can cure blight and bleed. I don't know if we... Who do we have that can cure blight and bleed that's level 2? Isaac, maybe? Isaac can cure blight and bleed. Good bleed, good blight, yeah. Uh, but his healing's not very effective. I don't know, I think this group's kind of good. It's just, it's difficult to know what we, what we want here. Definitely we're going to go with, like, a ton of damage on you. Um, so let's go with, would they be, I don't know, would they be Eldritch? Um, let's go with that. And what else damage-wise do we want on you? There's a lot of things. I don't want to take something that's going to mean you have to be in position one. Let's just take both of those. Lowers your dodge by a lot, but I think that's okay. Um, and then we just need to figure out what to put on our Joker here, our Jester. We could put his dice on him for that four accuracy and dodge, but we don't really need the accuracy. Should we just go heavy prot on him? But do we, do we really need prot that much? Maybe we'll just go with um, all the resistances and then a Book of Sanity. Let's try that out. This is a weird party for this. I've realized that. But I think I'm going to take this. We also have some more diary entries here. Uh, let's go to provisions. So apparently we don't need food or shovels. But we do need a lot of these. Some of these. Few of them. But yeah, apparently we don't need shovels. Definitely don't need shovels. And bring food if we can, but we can't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, journal, journal entry here from TEA, -E and this is for our abomination, Leo. A fellow named Dai joined an exposition today. Thankfully, I did not have to fight fire with fire in the Warrens and remained my human self. That man is the reason. Every time he struck, it killed. There was a fire in his heart, a fury inside him like no other in battle. Like he had something to prove. I'd never want to take a hit from him. I'd feel a damn misery in my bones. God damn. And then another one here from TEA, -E and this is by uh, for Butcher, Nevada. Um, the time is right. 
The stars are separate and the moon has waned. The power of the great comet has faded. This is our time to strike. Ooh, let's do it. Let's go in. Let's try this out. This is a really weird, weird group. And I'm very upset that <laughs> I've not really been prepared for this. Because I did have a group in mind, but we couldn't take them out. So I'm going to try this out. Let's see how it goes. tightly in filthy fingers, thinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my expertise. Ooh, damn. But yeah, I'm ready to get into this. I have done this before, but not for a while. Right. Onwards. So this is basically like... A never-ending, just onwards thing, I'm pretty sure. Like, battle. Um, right, so... Who's got a lot of prot here? So we might as well just take the prot off of you straight away. Yeah, the stress is coming out there now. Hmm. What's your bleed resist like? Bleed resist isn't actually that high. Okay, nice. Stab you straight away. So it, it starts off easier and gets harder as we go along, I think. Nice, activate that repost. Seeds of Madness. Apparently we've got to destroy these for heals, and if we don't, they damage us, I think. So we'll destroy them. Keep lowering that prot on you. And lower your damage as well. Nice. Get that bleed going. More things have come in. Keep going with that bleed. Stab you out. I don't know what this thing in the back does. This is probably the reason we should have brought... Um... Haha. -ha. This is probably the reason we should have brought de-stealth. We don't have that right now. Heal you up for 14. Lovely. Nice crit. Don't want to move him, but I guess we will. Ow. Bit of horror on there. Oh, I did not mean to do that. It's okay, though. We rearranged in time there. Okay, these guys aren't too bad. Ho oh, ho, especially when we can insta-kill one of them. It's very nice. Oh, apparently we can only use that from up front. I made a mistake there then, didn't I? It's okay. Stab you out. Stab you out. Oh, they're so close. Ooh, a bit of stress there coming in. Start Might want to start a stress healing. Them resistances are doing us great at the minute. Very happy I put them on. Okay, so we got one of these here. This should kill them too. Great. We'll use you to take care of this here for that little healing and just to stop it from exploding and that's a huge crit there nice one Anguis. 12 stress heal there great to see great to see so we've got another one of these scarecrow things we don't have the de-stealth right now so we can't really do anything about that open veins to get that insta kill want to activate repose next round here so oh lovely stab there Lovely stab. So the seeds, nice dodge. Go for a heal here. He should basically never bleed anything because his bleed chance is so low from this trinket. It's down to 40%. Really helps out. Seeds of madness there. Always take those out from what I understand. So far, so good here though. Got a kill with that, nice. Well, the crops. Bit of blight there. That's fine. We can clear the blight when we need be. <sighs> Unfortunate dodge there. We'll clear that blight as soon as we can. Paw the ground. What's that going to do for you? Stealth you. Okay. Interesting. So we will clear that out. Finish you off. Ow. Just heal you up. Even, though, even for five, that's pretty good. Uh, can't do anything else here. I don't prefer to do that, but we will. 
We're just going to hit here. We're not going to do this advance. Just because I don't want to get too far away. Dismas is doing a great job right now. I didn't mean to do that, to be honest, but it's okay. Trample. That's that's a problem, but we can we can rearrange, don't worry. Okay, so this thing's about to explode. We've, we've effectively rearranged our group already. There you go. That's why we need a movable party here. More of these things should be okay, though. Everyone's doing fine right now. Stress is good. Health is good. Nice crit there. Thank you very much, Ryan. Doing amazing work. Hit both of those with a bleed. I'm surprised these things can bleed, but I'm, I'm very happy about it. Just get you. Keep on that getting that repurse going. Love this. Absolutely love this. Is it the melee skill that we're getting here? One minute, I need to check this. Yeah, melee skill crit. Get great crit here. Finish you off first. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, did you ever think you'd see a critical heal for that much? My god. That's ludicrous. Ludicrous. I love this. We can hit him really easily with that. Um, pretty much finishes you off. The bleed will kill you. That finishes you off. And everything's dead. There you go. Awesome. That was not too difficult at all. That was a really good group for that. I was a little worried going into that, but we did it. There you go. And we've got 12 collected shards. Nice. Only basic for our first adventure. We've got Grave Rot here. Interesting. The minus accuracy and minus damage is annoying, but 20% HP is really good. Um, ooh, all really good. Ryan got up to level 3. That's another healer. That's another healer that can't do low-level quests. Um, I'd, I'm not sure what we're going to do in terms of our level 2s. Leveling, leveling out a lot of our level 2s up. Because we're going to get to the point where we don't have healers to go with them. And at that point, it's going to get really tough to bring them along. We're going to have to just take the stress, I guess. Uh, Fury. Let's have a look what we got here. So we got Fury. we got the High Rollers Dice, which is extra crits received, extra damage, accuracy, and speed. We have the Obsidian Astro Blade right there. I, that sounds really good. Um, Occultist, extra stun, debuff chance, damage at death's door, crit at death's door. Wow, that'd be pretty. That'd be a pretty amazing thing to have. But yeah, I think that's going to be a great place to leave this off. Let's see who else we've got here. We've got a level three leper, which we already have, um, and a level three hollow knight, which we can definitely trade out here. Where are you? There you are. Prisoner ten. Okay, so at least at least at the minute we're getting plenty of uh, this is our level, yeah. At least at the minute we're getting plenty of refreshes on people, leveling everyone up. Now everyone's getting up near level three. Now we've got a lot of level threes and a few level fours. Very good, if you ask me. Very, very good. But that was a great group. I know they were going in a little over leveled, anyways. But that went, that went really well. And this, Dismas has just got some of the best stuff going on you could ever dream of. His, his little build he's got going on is amazing. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's been a little bit of a shorter episode this time. We do have one more diary entry to leave this off. And this is by uh, TEA yet again. And this is for our Lamia Artemis. The secret is out. It must be. One of those heroes ratted me out while I was just trying to save... When, when I was just trying to save my life. I can see the looks people are giving me on the street. I bet it was that woman Verona. I can't stand her. She's always trying to talk to me. And I keep having to put up the friendly facade. Lest I be a target for a witch hunt. Ooh, interesting. I like that a lot. But yeah, it's really cool having uh, having all of these. Let me just uh, do this. Getting all these guys leveled up and everything. We're really getting into the thick of it now. We've got to the point where we're um, we're really in in deep with getting everyone leveled up. We've got plenty of level threes, level fours. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Oh my god, we got a lot. We've got a hell of a lot of level 2s, but we can, we can get them going. Um, and we actually have quite a lot of people that are really close to level 3 here. Uh, so I think if we bring out some of these guys next time and try and get those leveled up, that's going to be good for us. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.